Rainwater washes along gutters into storm drains in Greenville, and like most other places, our stormwater doesn't go to a treatment plant. Instead, it carries the trash and litter directly into the Tar River. You can remind people that only rainwater belongs in storm drains. Get involved in the City of Greenville Storm Drain Stenciling Program. Stenciling on storm drains lets people know whatever goes in here comes out there. Water quality and storm water management are growing concerns in North Carolina. Every year, motor oil, cigarette butts, plastic and yard wastes take this path into our water, spoiling it for people and wildlife. In the near future, cities like Greenville will be held accountable for the pollutants in the water. You can help protect our waterways. Not only can you put litter in its place, you can volunteer in a storm drain stenciling program. It doesn't take long, and it's easy to do. Call the City of Greenville Public Works Department and talk to the stenciling program coordinator. You'll receive permission to paint storm drains and help in getting organized. The coordinator will supply you with stenciling materials. You'll also be asked questions about who and how many will be participating in your group and who the contact person will be. The participants will be asked to sign a waiver of liability. For your information, there should be at least three people on a team, and you can certainly have more than one team. If your group includes children, there should be one adult chaperone for every three kids and at least one adult per painting group. You will tell the stenciling program coordinator the date and time your group wants to paint. It's best to stencil when the temperature is above 50 degrees, but not when it's too hot. Be prepared for a rainy day and have an alternate date. The ground must be dry, so if it has rained or rain is in the forecast, use your alternative date. Tell the coordinator if your group has a specific place to stencil or if you'd like a site selected for you. The City of Greenville will provide your group with these items. Volunteer brochures, training video, orange safety vests, traffic cones, handheld flags, stencils, one per team, storm drain data cards, liability waiver forms, copies of the permission letter, paint, wet paint signs, drop cloths or cardboard, trash bags, gloves, goggles, brooms and wire brush, cardboard stencil transport, copies of permission letters from agency or property owners as needed, masking tape, and rags. Three or four days before your group is scheduled to paint, pick up your materials. Get your group together to watch the training video. On the day you stencil, have extra copies of the brochure for people who walk by or ask questions about the painting. When your group has assembled to begin stenciling, review the six steps for painting explained in this video. Never paint on the sidewalk because the painted surface may be slippery when it rains, even after the paint is dry. Do not paint storm drains that are near parked cars or bicycles. Move to nearby drains where you will have room to work and be seen. If a homeowner approaches your team and objects to the painting, move to other drains. Place the orange safety cones provided by the city alongside the road 10 to 12 feet on either side of the drain, but not in the traffic lane. One team member should observe traffic and warn others of any potential danger. Do not try to direct or stop traffic. There are six steps to follow when you stencil the storm drain. One, clean up any litter near the drain and record it on the data card. Recycle materials such as glass bottles or plastic beverage containers. Two, using a broom, sweep fine debris from the area. Use a wire brush to scrub off rust and remove grime on the surface to be painted. Three, Place the stencil in the correct position. Tape the stencil flat against the surface to prevent the paint from spraying or leaking beneath the stencil. 
Place a drop cloth or a piece of cardboard around the outside of the stencil to prevent overspray or dripping. 4. When using spray paint, hold the can about 6 inches from the stencil. Use a back and forth motion rather than concentrating on one letter at a time. 5. Lift the stencil and blot the excess paint off of it with an old rag. Place it between two pieces of cardboard taped together on one side. This should prevent paint from getting on you or in your car between drains. And six, tape a wet paint sign next to the stenciled message. Move on to the next storm drain and repeat the procedure. Trade jobs so that everyone shares the work. Once you've finished painting the storm drains, check to make sure the stenciled messages are dry. Remove and discard the tape and wet paint signs from each drain. Lay the stencil on a flat surface to dry. Do not lay it on newspaper or other materials that could stick to the stencil. Let the stencils dry completely and flake off any extra paint. Return the stenciling materials to the city coordinator as soon as possible so that other groups can use them. We all have a role to play in protecting North Carolina's water resources. Thanks for your help in making sure that what should go in here doesn't go in there.